This, my friends, is the all-new 2013 Buick Encore, a luxury small crossover that's big on fuel efficiency, safety features, and advanced technologies. But if you're looking for a family hauler, this is probably not your best bet. Hello again and welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. The Buick Encore comes in four trim levels, the base, convenience, leather, and premium, each in either all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. My tester is the front-wheel drive with the premium package. On the outside, the Encore's sculpted and elegant styling identifies it as a contemporary Buick. Signature cues include a waterfall grille, chrome accents and surrounds, port holes on the hood, and painted lower panels. The standard body color door handles with chrome strips and a styled stainless steel exhaust tip add to the premium look. Blue accented halogen composite projector beam headlamps and detailed tail lamps further enhance the Encore's exterior and 18-inch five-spoke painted aluminum wheels are standard but you can get them with seven-spoke wheels as well. Inside the Encore's distinctive styling carries over to a flowing instrument panel that wraps naturally into the door panels. The instrument panel has a 7-inch high-resolution full-color display for the infotainment system and this is where you'll see the backup camera and available navigation system which clearly my tester has. These seats feature high-density foam for a better than average comfort and feel for those longer drives or extended commutes on the highway. Otherwise, some of the standard features on all Encores regardless of trim level include 10 airbags including side curtain and knee airbags, heated outside rearview mirrors, six-way power adjustable driver seat with power lumbar adjustment, leather wrapped three-spoke steering wheel with locking feature to deter theft, roof mounted luggage rails, and dual glove boxes to name a few. The introduction of the Encore gives Buick now four models with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine and six models that get an EPA estimated fuel economy number on the highway of 30 miles per gallon. My tester here is the 1.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. This gets 138 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque. And how's this for impressive? With a combined EPA estimated fuel economy number of 28 miles per gallon, the Encore delivers the highest fuel economy of any front-wheel drive crossover from a domestic automaker. Otherwise, you're looking at 25 miles per gallon in the city and 33 on the highway. I've been averaging this week 29 miles per gallon. Very impressive. If you want to go with the all-wheel drive version of the Encore, you'll get 23 miles per gallon in the city and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. The new Encore is built on a global small crossover platform and engineered with a one-tire philosophy. What is a one-tire philosophy? Well, everything is optimized around a single 18-inch tire specification, which has allowed the engineers at Buick to design this vehicle for more precise suspension tuning, driving refinement, quietness, and a feeling of control. I'll give you my take in a moment. But first, back to those fuel economy numbers. 28 miles per gallon in mixed driving is really good. A few of the reasons why include a high efficiency alternator, regulated voltage control, an electronically controlled returnless fuel system, and deceleration fuel cutoff. There's also low rolling resistance tires, electric power steering, and optimized aerodynamics. So I agree, the Encore provides for a very smooth driving experience. There's a nice feel for the road. It has a robust acceleration system, and the engine noise at both highway and cruising speeds is minimal thanks to Buick's exclusive quiet tuning process. I'll explain in a moment. Finally, the turning radius is extremely good, better than a Mini Countryman. You should have no problem getting in and out of small parking spots and making your way around side streets. So why is the Encore so quiet? Well, first of all, it's a small vehicle. 
Secondly, it has what it calls quiet tuning, which is standard. It's Buick's process for defining quality, sound, and vibration characteristics, and then implementing a system to help reduce the sounds at their source, block sounds from entering the cabin, and then absorbing the remaining sounds inside. And this is where it gets even more technical, so I'll abbreviate this to some degree. But one of the ways they've made that quieter in here is through some ceiling mounted microphones that first detect noise and then send out a counteracting sound wave to cancel it out. So now you know. All right, let's check out the headroom and legroom in the back seats. All right, the moment of truth. How comfortable is it in the back seat of the Encore? Well, it's supposed to sit five people. And if you had three of me side by side, I'm 5'11", I would be shoulder to shoulder. It would be kind of tight back here. Uh, as far as leg room, this is where I left the driver's seat when I was seated up here. And my knees are right up against the seat back. There is some cushion and foam in this seat. So there is a little bit of give, which is nice. And there's actually even a compartment right here. There is no sunroof. So it's kind of dark inside the cabin. It doesn't help that the interior is a number of different shades of brown, so it even seems a little more confined, but I'm okay with that. Headroom is the best. The headroom is the most impressive quality back here. You can get a fist and a half above my head before it hits the ceiling, which is nice. By the way, uh, as I mentioned, there is no sunroof, and there's only one armrest, and it's for the driver, so the passenger, I guess, is left folding their arms. There is a fold-down armrest back here, and inside it are two cup holders. In fact, there are eight total beverage holders inside the Encore. Well, at the request of one of our loyal members of the Everyman Driver Nation, I recorded myself earlier this week loading up the cargo area of the Encore with my mountain bike before heading out on a ride to give you a real world example of how practical it is to load up the vehicle. Take a look. So not a lot of room in the back of the Encore for a full-size mountain bike, even with the front tire taken off, but now you know what the process looks like. Now to open the lift gate, there's no button necessarily on the key fob. You can unlock the vehicle with the key fob, but to open it, you will have to lift the uh, gate right there to open it up. And inside you have a cargo net, a protective shade right here. There's some storage on the either side and the spare tire and jack is just below the floorboard. Now there is 18.8 .8 cubic feet of space behind the back row, so enough room for six full-size bags of groceries. You fold those seats down, you'll have 48 cubic feet of space, which is more than enough for a couple sets of golf clubs, luggage, and duffel bags. Now here's something I've been doing recently. I've been bringing along with me a 30-gallon storage bin to show you another example of space. And this just barely fits behind the back row of seats. Just one more real world example of how you can utilize the cargo room in the back of the Encore. The beginning MSRP here in the 2013 Buick Encore in the base model is 24,200. My tester here is just over 28 grand, throw in the navigation package and you're looking at $30,000 when it's all said and done. It's defined as a five passenger small luxury crossover, but realistically, it's probably better suited for four people. And even though it has a host of safety and technology features and terrific on fuel economy, it's a little bit on the cramp side for my taste. Either way, it's worth a look and a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching. And coming soon on Everyman Driver, a detailed drive and review of the 2013 Honda Cross Tour. This vehicle features the all new Earth Dreams 3.5 liter V6 engine that gets 278 horsepower, plus a host of new features and upgrades for 2013. We'll tell you all about it coming soon, right here on Everyman Driver.